Hello, this is Mrs. Wong here. I'm doing a run through of the solutions for your 2 e revision worksheet. This is for set number 3 on chapters 9 and 10. Okay, so for question 1, um, they, the question wants us to find the length of BC, which is the hypotenuse of triangle BHC. So what we can do is with the information given, first apply Pythagoras theorem to find the length of AH. That will help us find the length of HC. With BH and HC, I can apply Pythagoras theorem again to find the length of BC. For question number two, the question wants us to find the length of XZ which is one of the shorter sides of a right angle triangle. They've given us the length of the hypotenuse and one of the shorter sides, so we can use, easily find the length of XZ. The area of the triangle, I can use my formula. Half times base area, uh, sorry, base length times height. And for part C, they want us to find the length of Xn. Okay. Xn forms a right angle triangle with Xz. So I will use the area of the triangle for part B. But now, instead of using Xy and Xz as the base and the height, I'm using XZ as the base and XN as the height. So it's my base, it's the height. To find the length of XN. For question number three, to find the length of AC, I'll make use of the information I know from triangle ABC. I have the length of the opposite. I want to find the length of the hypotenuse. So I will need to use sine of the angle given 30. For part B, to find the length of AD, I'll make use of the information from part A and the given length of CD and use Pythagoras theorem. For part C, they want us to find the length of angle, oh, sorry, the angle of CAD. So I'll make use of the right angle triangle CAD. Use what I know, which is 3 and 6 cm. You can use tangent. Now because I have already found the length of AD in part B, you can also choose to use sine or cosine of the unknown angle but then you will have to form your equation accordingly. Question 4 Okay, I'll do take note or we will cancel away B part 2 we'll not be able to do it for now. For question 4a they want us to find the size of angle BAC here. So I make use of my right angle triangle ABC. I do know of all three lines. So really it's up to you. You can use sine, cosine, tangent to get the answer. For part B, they want the answer as a fraction. The value of sine of angle CDB. So sine of angle CDB is over here. I will have to make use of the opposite over hypotenuse to give me my answer as 12 and 15. Now for part B, do note that I do not need to evaluate for the size of angle CDB as the question asks us 
for the value of sine of the angle. For question 5, 5a wants us to show that triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. So I will have to make use of the converse of Pythagoras theorem. So the first thing I will do, I have to first identify the hypotenuse of the triangle, which is the longest side. So AB square is 12.5 square. Then I find the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides, AC square plus BC square. And the two values here are actually the same. So since AB square is equals to AC square plus BC square, for the converse of Pythagoras theorem, I know that triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. Do note how you present your answer to prove that it is a right angle triangle. For part B, they want us to find the length of CD. We can easily use Pythagoras theorem to find the length of CD. Let's go on to question 6. So for question 6, they want us to calculate the distance between the two ships, which is this. However, we are not able to find the distance directly. So I will have to make use of the two right angle triangles that I have to find the length of NA and NB separately before I take NB minus NA to find the length of AB. So I use my Pythagoras theorem two times. Okay, I've chosen not to uh, evaluate the values of the square root of 11900 and square root of 20,000, but instead use the exact value to do my subtraction. Now if you want to, you can actually choose to evaluate the values of N A and N B to 5 SF before using them in your intermediate working and then finding the answer for the length of A B rounded off to 3 SF. 